What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope you like this video. I know I told y'all I was done with the Will Smith situation, but we had a live earlier today and some questions came up. And so I wanted to follow up and give you guys some additional information. So we talked about the fact that Will Smith has now come unto, um, come under an official event. Lord, I can't get my words together. Official investigation by the Academy um, as to what they're going to do in reference to what happened on Sat um, Sunday night. Will he be expelled? Will he be suspended? Will he be reprimanded at all? Will they take his Oscar? Well, first of all, they're not going to take his Oscar. Um, Whoopi Goldberg, who does sit on the board, said, we ain't taking his Oscar. She was like, I can't go any further into what will happen. There will be punishment. But he will not lose his Oscar. And I believe her because y'all know I love Whoopi. So if Whoopi say it, I believe it. Moving on. But what does it mean to be expelled or, well, I just, uh, be expelled or suspended? What does that mean for someone? And who has been expelled and who has been suspended? Now, I found some information for you guys. And so I'm going to share with you what I found. Now, this is coming from the Tribune. I think this is coming from the Tribune. Um, what does it mean to be punished? Punishment can include suspension or expulsion from the group, private or public reprimand, temporary or permanent loss of ability to attend events or receive awards or other sanctions that the Academy in its sole discretion may deem appropriate. So like we said on the live, can't go to any future Academy Awards. We know that when you win an Academy Award, you become a member of the Academy. You get to vote. Um, for future um, movies and uh, future awards, you are invited to come back and present in the next year. So, like, all of that stuff could be taken away from um, Will Smith, whether it be permanently or temporarily. Um, this is Variety. I'm sorry, I said the reporter. I mean, the Tribune, this is coming from Variety. Um, two members of the Academy have been permanently expelled. We talked about this on the live. Who has and who hasn't been expelled? So two actors, um, and I actually saw there's more than two. Well, two actors. Anyway, I saw more names, but I'm going to read this, and then I'll tell you the other names that I saw. Because um, I saw five altogether, but I, they have two here. Um, Carmine Cardi, Cardi in 20, um, 2004 for violating the voting rights. He is an actor from The Godfather, and what... Um, we found, or what I found is that he was, he was expelled because he was pirating the movies. So what happens is when you're a part of the, um, Academy, you vote on best picture, you vote on best actor, best actress and all those things. So you get advanced copies of these movies because sometimes movies are eligible, um, to win an award before, like if they're going to be released in that. Um, Academy in that award time, the you know, the time period. And so you get advanced copies of the movies. And before, you know, in, tw in 2004, we didn't have all these streaming services. And we know that since the, the pandemic, movies have really just been streaming for the most part. But in 2004, he was actually pirating these movies, these movies that were nominated for these different awards. He was, you know, making copies, bootlegging it, whatever. He got caught. That's why he got banned. Um, Harvey Weinstein is banned, but what the article says is that basically is something that was done in name only because they didn't take any of his awards. He's just banned from the Academy after his convention. Um, Roman Pol Polanski, his name came up. Now, for those who don't know who Roman Polanski is, Roman Polanski is a director. Um, he is actually convicted of... Um, sexual assault on a child um, and he's currently fighting like he's hiding out not coming to the United States he's also the estranged well they weren't estranged at the time the husband of Sharon Tate who unfortunately uh, was a Hollywood actress that was a part of the Helter Skelter uh, Charles Manson um, murders so those are the names that I found. Now, the other two names, which I find interesting, Bill Cosby's name was listed in a separate article that I read and um, another actor. And so part of the reason why this article from Variety says that they don't, they, you know, on top of what my girl Whoopi said, 
is that all of these other men were convicted of some very serious crimes. Very serious crimes. Okay? So I wanted to just put that out there and give you guys the information, okay? Now, the other thing I want to address, I was going to make this two separate videos, but I'm going to just go ahead and make it one video, and I'll put both things in the title. Okay. This whole thing about John Wayne assaulting somebody and nothing ever happened to him at the Oscars has come up. That came up on the live as well. I didn't speak on it because I didn't have all the information at the time, but I, I also did some research, and I found an article on um, what actually happened at the Oscars with John Wayne. Maybe I should have made this two separate videos, but we here now. So this is an article I found from um, Snoops, um, which is like a fact check website. So the question is, did John Wayne try to pull Sashin Little Feather off stage at the 1973 Oscars, right? Um, because of course, people are comparing what he did to what happened Sunday night. And they're like, well, if nothing happened to John Wayne, why are they coming after Will Smith? Well, first of all, I think the, I think the answer is obvious, okay? So what happened was in, I'm going to read this and then I'll tell you guys. John Wayne, a Hollywood actor best known for his starring role in Westerns, reportedly had to be restrained by security guards as he tried to pull Native American activist Sashin, and if I'm saying your name wrong, charge it to my head, not my heart, Little Feather, off the Oscar stage in 1973. Um, Little Feather's controversial appearance at the award show and, Va and Wayne's violent reaction to it began making the rounds as the slap her around the world um, happened on uh, Sunday. Some observers claimed at that moment that that was the ugliest history in the event of the award show, but of course, now this story is resurfacing. So this is what happened. In 1973, an activist, um, Miss Little Feather, did come to the Oscars at the behest of Marlon Brando. In 1973, Marlon Brando was up for Best Actor in The Godfather for his role in The Godfather. Brando turned down the Academy Award for Best Actor in protest of the treatment of Native Americans in film. Brando's gesture was also aimed at highlighting the events at Wounded Knee, um, where a massacre of Native Americans took place in 1890 and where protest, protests were ongoing at the time. Um, Littlefeather described how Wayne was so furious at her speech that he had to be restrained. Six security guards had to prevent him from, from coming up on stage. Now, he was trying to forcibly remove her from the stage because she was giving a speech in lieu of Marlon Brando giving his acceptance speech, right? So basically what happened was Marlon Brando pretty much thought he was going to win or knew he was going to win. And instead of him giving a, a, a speech, he allowed her to speak and speak about the atrocities that were happening to the Native American people. John Wayne was pissed off about it. He felt like this wasn't the time or the place for that to happen. And he was going to physically remove her from the stage. Now remember, this was 1973. Now, um, hold on. I want to, in this article, they also talk about, okay, John Wayne, this is what John Wayne said in 1971. Okay, so let me just say this. First of all, John Wayne was a racist, so... And here's a quote from John Wayne in 1971 in Playboy magazine. John Wayne said, I believe in white supremacy until the blacks are educated to the point of responsibility. What he said about that night was, um, he basically said that if Marlon Brando had a problem Marlon Brando should have shown up himself and spoke instead of putting some little woman on stage dressed up in an Indian outfit. So what I don't want us to do is compare John Wayne to this situation. Those are two totally different situations. And yes, it was atrocious what John Wayne did. Yes, it was, it, 
it, it was ridiculous. But one, the climate in the times were different. It was 1973. Um, John Wayne was already an admitted racist. Um, and he did not, yeah, granted security stopped him, but he did not assault that woman. Now, he did try. And if he had gotten through them security guards, he was going to pick her ass up and carry her off the stage. And I think in that moment, then that would have been considered probably the worst atrocity in the history of the Oscars. Um, but that's the story. That is what I found. Um, again, I'm giving John Wayne no passes. Please, I don't want this to be mis misconstrued. Giving John Wayne no passes. None. Uh, but I just want to clear that up because I know that that story has been circulating and I've heard people say, oh, he actually assaulted this woman. No, he didn't. He tried to. But he didn't. Um, but anyway, that's what happened. And again, if you didn't know that John Wayne was a racist before, now I'm here to tell you he's a self-admitted racist. You heard a quote directly from him about how he felt about black people. You know how he felt about Native Americans. Hell, he, he grew his career off of playing off of the stereotypes of the Native Americans. Um, yeah, I've been talking long enough. That's it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments. Peace.